Hello there, amigos. Today let's talk about armor penetration once again. I made a couple of videos explaining how exactly it works for ranged and melee webs. But anyways, I have even more stuff to mention, so let's do it for that sake. You can observe this little syringe boy that reduces target's damage resistance for a couple of minutes. As well we have exterminator perk that reduces damage resistance of any insect, including the most insecting insects, crabs. We have uh, something controversial we're gonna test on puppy hawk. Incredible puppy hawk. Hmm, would be a nice title for a movie. Well, and we have more stuff. Let's talk about Exterminator first, cause actually it's working. I mean, obviously for no reason, but it is. Mummy crab is probably the only insect you need this perk for, and it is a multiplier, so you can use tank killer, get amazed, and try in the armor, and deal description damage to the shell of Krabby Mafia branch in Appalachia. Perforating mod plus anti-armor would be 90% damage reduction buff, and we can go further and use syringe. In this case, let's check. Yay, one damage resistance, nice. Just in case Mummy Crab has weak points where only damage resistance is applied. Her torso has 50% damage reduction. And I hit something else that has 75% damage reduction. Here. So shoot her head or legs. Now about syringe that reduces damage resistance by 25%. Works as multiplier as well. As we already know, only anti-armor and weapons mod work additively between them. Weighted for armor reduces final damage resistance by 10 points maximum. Speaking of karma syringe, well, incredible Hulk gets additional 25 damage resistance points. And uh, basically that's all. There is no incredible weak situation, it just goes back to normal. I tried to shoot him as well and uh, nah, did not get any high numbers. Maybe I'm missing something, I don't know. Now let's talk about armor penetration of explosive rounds. Since the game says that small booms deal 20% of the description damage, we get number 10. I have two weapons with explosive rounds and let's try to understand what damage resistance number is used. I calculated damage outcome using ballistic and energy resistances to see which one is closer and actually none of them. Well, I mean technically energy resistance is more accurate in this case, but still I'm not sure what resistance should I use. But I'm 100% positive that resistance reduction buffs are working with explosives. So anti-armor explosive is a beast. Speaking of bleed damage, actually we have a nice number, 250, wow. But is it affected by armor reduction buffs? Well, I tested on Deathclaw, who has super high resistances. And here we have 96. Yokis dokis, Cyanorito Deathclaw attacks me non-stop and uh, melee attackers receive additional damage, so this test is not true, not fair. And if you try it somewhere else, you will barely see the difference, or maybe there will be no difference at all, like here. You see, she is dying at the same speed. I'm so sorry. I tried the same with mini hawks, but it looks like damage outcome stays the same in both cases. For heavies, armor penetration situation is kinda tricky, cause it is not possible to say if anti-armor legendary mod is good or not. I have few LMGs with base damage 42 and additional buffs like heavy gunner, aristocrat, not 50% exactly, but anyways, 37. Bloody here gives plus 88%. So mm, it's good, Senorito stabilized, works with power armor only and this buff is a multiplier, so we have anti-armor multiplied by stab, stabilized. 
Here I gave you damage resistance reduction numbers already calculated, and there is no way to get 90% like with melee or rifles. Even if I use syringe, we can get somewhere around 80% damage resistance reduction. So, if you watched my previous video, you know that anti-armor for melee is Saki Saki. With rifles, anti-armor actually can be the best legendary mod possible, depends on how many additional buffs you stack, so it's all about min maximum. For heavies, well, bloated is still the king, but more buffs you stack, better anti-armor is. In this particular case, I use heavy gunner perk only at 20%. And we have a small damage gap between Aristocrat and Anti-Armor. It will be shrinking to almost nothing if I use full Heavy Gunner. More damage buffs, better for armor penetrating dude. And explosive rounds can make this legendary mod the second best after Bloody, cause no conditions required like caps or addictions in case of junkie. Finally, let's move to throwable weapons. We have molotovs, we have knives, and we have nuka grenades. I actually tested nuka grenades' penetrative abilities, and screw me, today I got super different results. I used damage numbers you are seeing to calculate his resistances, and it worked for knives and uh, molotovs, but got complicated with nuka grenades. But I can definitely say that anti-armor plus perforating mag is the best combo you can use to maximum your damage outcome. Tank killer, incisor and stabilized do nothing about numbers, weighted mod for your arms has the same story. And I tested this issue like 20 times today, being completely pissed off with the game and myself and everything else. So basically that's all for today. Big thank you for watching, I will see you later, bye 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 bye.